So I think I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Hong Kong Disneyland Resort Hotel here in Hong Kong. So as soon as you go through the main reception door, <coughs> like I say, as soon as you go through the main reception door, you enter the lobby. Here you can find reception to the left hand side over there, that's where I checked in earlier. You've got this lounge area here, huge chandeliers up there, really fancy. This hotel reminds me a lot of the Grand Floridian, if I'm honest, in uh, Walt Disney World in Florida. As you can see, it's Halloween themed at the moment, so you've got these pumpkins everywhere. I haven't been in the shop yet, so let's have a look what's in there, shall we? So what's this park exclusive? Okay, the park exclusive bell of Okay, the park exclusive charm of Lena Bell. That's Holly's favourite, so I'm obviously gonna have to get that. Okay, I'll come back later and get that. Let me check what we got. So that's Lena Bell up there. That's the only one I do know. Cookie and Gelatoni, Duffy, the original one, Holly Mel, I'm not sure who that one is. I'll look what else we've got. Okay. Okay, let's go out this way, shall we? So here, we've got one of the restaurants. Okay, this is the Crystal Lotus. This is a sit-down restaurant, and I believe you have to make reservations for it. In fact, this hotel doesn't have any uh, quick service restaurants. Let's keep going down the corridor, shall we, and see what's here. Oh, here we go, here's the menu. I did look before I left home actually what the food was here where I decided I wasn't going to come here. If you want to read it, I guess you can just pause the video. Okay. I haven't walked this way yet. I've walked the other way towards the swimming pool. I haven't done this yet, so we can explore together. Okay. So, what have we got down here? Conference center, storybook playroom. Okay, Cinderella Forum, they must be the names of the conference rooms. Ugh. I'm not going to go down there. Everybody knows what a conference room looks like. Must be through those doors there, not probably over there. And there's a play, play area there, which obviously I don't want to go there for these children. Okay, we've got a display cabinet there. This is an ornament, it's got Mickey and Minnie, Pluto, Beauty and the Beast, who's at the bottom, Snow White and Prince Charming. I think we'll, I'll tell you what, let's have a look down this way, shall we? See if there is anything over here, other than just rooms. Okay, so there's a bathroom. Okay, let's lift. Okay, these are some lifts I came in earlier, I think. So to the left is just going to be a way to go outside. So if there is, I think we'll turn back. Oh no, it's a different one again. Okay, let's keep walking and exploring. It looks just like more guest rooms. Tell you what, let's go back to the lobby. See what's there. So, just to give you a bit of background. I'm staying at this hotel for three nights. I did mention earlier that I actually got a really good deal here. So, as part of the um, the wi winning the uh, competition with the Hong Kong Tourist Authority, the uh, World of Winners competition. 
I got a really good discount code for this hotel, well, all three Disney hotels, actually. But I thought, normally I wouldn't come and stay at this hotel. In fact, I've got Explorer's Lodge booked for next year when I'm coming with Matthew and Holly. They're, they're my son and daughter. And the reason they're not on this trip, actually, is because we've already got a China trip booked for just a few months' time. <laughs> so that's why I'm just coming here solo. Just because Cafe Pacific flight were just so scandalously expensive if I wanted to bring them with us. For, for a junior and a child, it was going to cost over £2,000 return flights. So, not going to do that. Next year, we're flying with British Airways to Beijing spending three weeks traveling all the way through China, coming to finish off in Hong Kong, and then fly back home from Hong Kong. And those flights for the three of us come to less than 2,000 pounds, the three of us. Whereas just two children's tickets to come to Hong Kong return with Cafe Pacific was over 2,000 pounds. Okay, let's see what we've got here, shall we? Looks like another dining area there. And I'm sure it's more guest rooms just down here. Well, let's have a look. So we've got a cash machine, restroom. Okay. So there's these uh, fun options you can do here. So you can do Starlight Picnic Package, where you watch a movie. <laughs> Under the moon and the stars. What time is that? 7 to 9. Well, it's actually 10 to 8 now. Maybe when we're walking outside, you might see it. And they also do a number of activities as well here. Those top three, you have to book in advance and there's actually a cost for those. But the, the eight at the bottom, these are all free of charge. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna try and see if I can do the, well not do it, but watch the Tai Chi with Mickey. Sometimes Pluto does it. But, so we've got pedal carts, we've got animation studio, not sure what Ariel's Royal Poolside Court is. The maze is outside. I'll show you that now when I go outside. So, self-wandering tour, so just walking around. I saw the mini golf course when we went for a swim earlier. I'll tell you what, I think, oh, here we go. Like I said, it's Halloween in a couple of days, so everything's Halloween themed. Let's go and have a look down this way, shall we? One thing I did see down here, which might be useful for some people, they've actually got a charge bank rental facility as well. So if you're a member of the Charge Spot app, I'm not, you can actually rent power banks from here, which could be pretty handy. I haven't run out of uh, power today on <laughs> one of my cameras and my phone. But I brought my own power bank, so it's not too bad. There's also a ATM machine. It's standard chartered bank. So I don't know if they charge a fee or not. I'm not too sure. I heard that if this is a legitimate bank, they don't actually charge fees when you draw out money. Okay, let's go down here. I think there's a ladies bathroom there and a male bathroom there. Here. Just more bedrooms to tell you what. Let's go. Let's go outside, shall we? So let's head downstairs. So we still need to go down. I tell you what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to change the settings on this camera to the low light mode to see what it's like. There. Do you see anything different? So I've got a brand new, anybody who's interested in cameras and would like to know what this is. I've got the brand new DJI Pocket 3 camera. It only came out three days ago. It arrived two days before my trip. So I'm testing out on this holiday for the first time. So. It's this way. Oh, this is just the fitness center. So the fitness center is just in there. We have frosted glass, so you can't really see it. We can go out that way to the pool, but I tell you what, when I was walking to the pool earlier, I looked through the restaurant window and I could see Mickey and Goofy. So let's walk 
the inside route. Can you see that one? Maybe not. Okay. So this is the gym this way. Hi there, I'm just looking round. <laughs> Am I able to just have a look in the gym, or is it closed now? Uh, yeah. Okay, can I just... Thank you. Yeah, my room number is 6133 if you need it. Okay, no problem. Okay. okay. And so what have we got here? The doll's house. Let's go outside by the swimming pool, shall we? Tell you what, we'll look up through the window at the gym from outside. Kind of good looking earlier when I was in the pool. So this is outside. So what do you think of the new DJI Pocket 3 on low light mode? Okay. So there's the gym. Got lots of treadmills, elliptical trainers, some weights, a few exercise bikes here. Probably gas, but I'm not going to be going there on this trip. Oh, and through here is the indoor pool. I wasn't able to do that earlier. The indoor pool closes at six o'clock. But the outdoor pool, this one over here, that closes at eight o'clock tonight. So that's why I was able to go in it. So we got that one. Now here's a map of the resort. So we should be here. It doesn't say you're here, but I'm assuming. Oh, actually, no, got this wrong way around. We're actually here. There's a swimming pool. There's actually a slide as well. I went on that a couple of times earlier. What I think we'll do is we walk past the pool this way, and then double back on ourselves, go down, back down that way. So here's the pool. So I had a good half an hour, even maybe an hour. I'd lost track of time, if I'm honest, when I came there earlier. So it looks time. So they've shut it for the day, but there's a slide over there. You can see at the other end. Go this way, shall we? These are the change rooms, ladies' change rooms are there. And the uh, men's, thanks. men's changing room is by there. The poolside bar is over there. But I better get out of this area, I think they're just shutting it up. So I don't want to cause them any inconvenience. Let's go back this way. So you should be able to get a pretty good view of the pool there. So when I was in the pool earlier, when I got in, it was, re well, I thought it was freezing, but I soon acclimatized, so I don't think it was that cold at the end of the day. The temperature of the day is probably between 26 and 29, and we're just coming out of summer. Well, it's October now, but the heat here in Hong Kong is a lot different than October back in the UK, you can probably imagine. So I soon got used to it, and it was actually really refreshing after having such a hot day today. For the Jantan Buddha, it was nice just to lay in the pool. Anyway, let's face forward because I'm sure you don't want to see me. Okay, so over there is the fence running all the way along. And I think it's probably, oh, here's the mini golf course as well, here. Yeah. So I guess you just ask, maybe in that fitness area, uh, or actually by the pool area there, actually, and they'd probably give you some uh, golf clubs and golf balls to play there in the day, obviously. Again, everything's shut now. Tell you what, I was gonna walk right that way and go back to the maze in the lobby area, 
But I haven't been down here yet, so let's see what you come to if you walk this way. While I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be like one of those YouTubers now. When I'm walking this way, let me know in the comments what you think of this camera, what it's like in low light situations. It'd be good to know. Like I said, it's the brand new DJI Pocket 3. It's been out three days. So it came out on Wednesday, it was the official launch day. Bought it on Amazon that day. Had it delivered for Thursday, and then I came to Hong Kong on the Saturday. So I tested it at home just to make sure it worked. Luckily it did, but I haven't done that much with it. I'm still getting used to all the controls as well. Let's have a look over here. So this is the park. I didn't see this bit when I was in the pool. But the slide I was talking about, the stairs is go up there and the slide starts up there. It's pretty powerful. It goes around some quite tight turns and bends. And here's a park. Again, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think of the footage you like using this camera. When I use normal action cameras at night, especially GoPros, it's just useless, absolutely useless. And I've been using the Sony ZV-1 as well when it's low light, but that's just so shaky because there's no image stabilization in there. Well, there is a bit of image stabilization, but it's useless. Okay, let's have a look down this path to the left, if there is anything or not. Looks like there's something over the fence there. I don't know how I'm gonna get around to someone else over here. Oh, actually, I think there might be some tennis courts at this hotel. Maybe there's a tennis court. Okay. Well, while I'm walking around, I'll tell you my plans for Hong Kong, shall I, while I'm here. Uh, so, today I arrived this morning, checked in at this hotel, the Hong Kong Disneyland Resort Hotel. Then, as soon as they took my bag, I wasn't obviously able to check into the, go into the hotel room at that point, because it was about eight, nine in the morning. So from there, I decided to go to Shantan Buddha, uh, otherwise known as the Big Buddha, on uh, using the non-ping 360 cable car. I had a had the crystal cabin on that cable car, which was really good. There was a lot of people in there, unfortunately. And during <laughs> over the past couple of years, when there hasn't been many tourists and there've been restrictions on numbers in enclosed spaces, people used to get the cabins for themselves. So that would have been amazing. But obviously I couldn't come to Hong Kong during that time. Yeah, so the tennis court there. Quite nice. And what's this way? I can actually see more on the screen of the camera than I can with my eyes here, actually. Oh, I think this is just the road leading to the entrance over there. So we won't go up there because we started our tour over there. Let's go back this way, shall we? So yeah, so today, Shantan Buddha, the Nongping village, and then the Taiyo fishing village. When I came back, I then went to the um, mall and got my, my dinner. And I'm obviously back here at the hotel. Tomorrow, which is Monday, I'm gonna spend the whole day at Hong Kong Disneyland. Tuesday, I'm gonna spend the whole day at Hong Kong Disneyland, and then, Wednesday morning, which is the 1st of November. Oh, actually, yeah, on Tuesday as well, that's Halloween. So I'm going to try and walk around the parks, spotting everything unique for Halloween as well, which should be pretty interesting. So there's two special shows going on, something to do with villains and another one. I can't remember the name of them right now, but they replace the Festival of the Lion King show. But we'll see. Also, because it might be busy, um, I've decided to purchase Premier Access. The, the one I've gone for is called Momentus Plus Free Premier Access. So that gives me front of a rider, well, jump the queue access for eight of the major rides, which is Hyperspace Mountain, uh, Grizzly Gulch Minecart, Iron Man, Ant-Man, it's a small world, some others as well two shows which are the one on the forecourt of the castle 
stream something and also allocated seating on the fireworks at the end although it's not really fireworks anymore it's the uh, projection onto the castle so yeah so that brings me back to wednesday i'm checking out here wednesday and heading over to hong kong itself well actually sim sha sui then checking into my new hotel which is going to be the intercontinental uh, grand stamford which is right on the harbour in Sim Sha Shui. And I hope I've got a really nice harbour view room. That would be nice. It's such an amazing view there from all those hotels in that area. When I came to Hong Kong back in 2006, it's a long time ago now, we stayed in the peninsula and that's the hotel that made me realise it's worth paying just a little bit extra just to get an amazing view because we had a harbour view, we had a harbour view room there and it was, oh, it was just perfect it was absolutely amazing there um, if you know anything about hong kong you've probably heard about the peninsula hotel it's a really one of the best hotels in the world so i couldn't afford it on this trip but i'm doing one of the next best things okay so over here come all the way back around this is the maze Over there. Well, once I finish in the maze, I'll tell you more of my travel plans. So again, reception's up there. So reception's on the third floor. So you then walk down these steps, or you can get the elevator or the lift back down to this ground floor here. If you want to go in the maze, shall we go through the maze and see what what it's like? Hopefully, I won't get lost, but at least. I can stick my head up. <laughs> it's not exactly very high. Okay, so Wednesday. So we're moving over to Hong Kong. Uh, that day I've got a few tickets lined up as well. Again, booked through Kluke, which I mentioned earlier on another video. Um, I've been booking all my tickets through Kluke. Not only did I find them really good to, to book pretty much everything I needed for the trip, they were actually cheaper than a lot of the, they were actually cheaper than going directly to the attractions and not only that they've actually been pretty good <laughs> to me as well they've offered me an exclusive discount code that i can offer you uh, to get five percent off all your purchases so it's not just attractions it's transport it's tours and even hotels so if you click on the links that i probably have in all my videos to kluke website then you if you use the promo code travel shorts so that's travel shorts name of my channel you will get five percent off your purchase I think that's pretty generous of them. Okay, what have we got there? Okay, got a little ghost creature. So, let's keep walking through this maze, shall we? So yeah, so then after I get to Hong Kong, I'm gonna get lunch in Tim Ho Wan, which is the cheapest Michelin star restaurant in the world. So I'm gonna go there for dim, dim sum, hopefully, the queues out the door won't be too much, but I've heard they can be, depending on what time you go on. Okay, we've got some more ghosts around here. Then after that, I'm gonna get the Star Ferry over to Hong Kong Island and do what nearly every tourist does, which is uh, go on the peak tram. Hey, what, you don't wanna see my face anymore. Let's go on this maze, shall we? After you do the peak tram, I'm just gonna be walking around Hong Kong for a bit trying to explore as many sites as we can in that area we've got the mid-level es escalators which is the longest continuous covered escalators in the world i think something like that gonna go up there and visit the manmo temple and some other things in that area and then something really exciting that evening i'm actually going to the horse races in happy valley which to be honest i've never been to a horse race in my life before so it doesn't really interest me and it still doesn't really interest me if i'm honest but the reason why I'm going is I'm a huge travel fan, as you probably guessed by having this channel. Um, and I remember growing up and watching Michael Palin on his Around the World in 80 Days. And when he did his Hong Kong stint on his Around the World in 80 Days, he went actually to the Happy Valley to uh, see the horse racing. Oh, look at that. Made it without even thinking. Just walking around the cage <laughs> <right there. laughs> So I'm going to spend the evening watching the horse racing. I might even put in a little bet. I'm not sure yet. 
So we'll see about that. Anyway, so that's the maze done. Tell you what. Let's keep walking over to the right hand side over that way. See what's over there. Like I, I know what's over there. If we keep walking, we're going to get to the other Disney hotels. So the next hotel over is Explorer's Lodge. I don't know what that lady was saying. So, like I was saying, the, the next hotel over is Explorer's Lodge, which I'm going to be staying at next year with Matthew and Holly. And then the one over from that. This is more. You hear? I've got to walk all the way back around. I don't want to jump over that wall. It's a bit rude. And then the one over from that is Disney's Hollywood Hotel, which is the lowest price one of the three on property here, but it's still reasonably expensive. But I do believe they've got a quick service there as well. So I might go there maybe one night, just have a little look around. What time is it now? I've got enough time. Okay, it's 10 past eight now. I'm not sure. Might walk there. Don't know. Don't know. Let's keep walking for a bit anyway. Okay, so that that's Wednesday over with. Probably just babbling on and on, aren't I? Probably maybe just if you're not interested, just put it on mute. <laughs> I'll put some music on while I'm doing it. So Thursday, I'm going to Ocean Park, which is a theme park. Uh, there's lots of roller coasters there, and it's on a huge site over quite a big air, area. And there's even a cable car to get from one side to the other. So I believe it started off, hence the name Ocean Park, as a bit of an aquarium. And then they just kept adding roller coasters and thrill rides on top of that. I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to take a photo of that. I'm going to photo here at night. So let's look at that. Here we go. So it looks actually... At least on the screen of this DJI Pocket 3, it looks a lot better than I just took on my iPhone. Anyway, let's keep going here. So yes, I'm going to do Ocean Park. I think that's going to be pretty much all day there. And again, like the Disney things, I paid for fast passes there as well, so I'm not caught in lots of lines. because I'm only going to these places for a day. I've flown to the other side of the world to come to them, so I don't mind just paying an extra few pounds, just so I'm not waiting in lines all the time, wasting my time. Okay, then Friday, Friday is going to be a really exciting day. I'm actually going to Macau. So I'm going to get a ferry boat in the morning, go to Macau, which is known as the Las Vegas of the East, and um, spend the day there, going to a lot of old sites. Um, so there's an old, uh, the ruins of St. Paul, which is a cathedral, which is kind of collapsed apart from the front facade. Oh, let's look at that. They've got some traditional foods there as well. Wow, the screen is so much brighter than I'm actually seeing in, <laughs> using my eyes. Should I go to Explorer's Lodge or not? Um, no, I don't think I will actually. I don't think I will. I'll save that for another time, or Explorer's Lodge anyway. Um, so as well as doing all the traditional areas, I'm gonna split it. So traditional areas in the morning, and then I'm gonna go to the casinos in the afternoon. I'm not going to go gambling, I'm, I'm not really a gambler, but it'd be good to see him. Been to Vegas a few times just to see and like soak in the atmosphere. There's also a team lab there in the Venetian Hotel, which I really want to go and see. So, team lab, if you're not familiar with that, it's like art installation using lights. There are quite a few of them in Japan, which I've always wanted to see. And for the last, you know, I've been watching people's videos at the place in Japan, and I'd love to go and see them. But obviously, we're not going to Japan at the moment. We almost did next year. We were originally going to go to Japan, but then we decided to go to China instead, just because China's been booked and postponed since 2020, no, 2021. So now China's finally opened up before we've got to go on that trip. Anyway, so whole day in Macau, I'm leaving nine in the morning, coming back 9.30 in the evening. Then, well, that was Friday, Macau. Then Saturday, I'm going to go to a place called Lama Island, so another boat, just to get some quiet and a peaceful walk over an island. Apparently, they've got really nice traditional fish food there as well, and all the traditional farmers, uh, fishermen's restaurants. There we go. So, again, that's going to be a good half a day in Lama Island, and I'm going to come back, maybe go to Repulse Bay and Stanley. For a look around at some different areas of Hong Kong. 
if I don't do that, I'll just look around Hong Kong again. And then Sunday, that's my final full day. So I'm going to check out the hotel in the morning. I've booked a walking tour with Guru Walks, which is a free walking tour provider, which I've used a lot around Europe. So it's totally free. You just give them a tip at the end if you like it. Normally you tip about the equivalent of £10 or so, 10 what, 10 to 15 pound per person. That's what we were doing on our Europe trip. Then when I get back from that, just again, just trying to do as many sites around Hong Kong as possible. Um, and then my flight is at half one on Monday morning. So again, I'm just gonna be, <laughs> gonna be really tired. I'm gonna get to the airport late, get some dinner, fly out and then um, go to work <laughs> on Monday. So I arrive back in the UK, seven o'clock UK time. So then come home, go to work. Don't think I can go that way. And that's my plan for my time here in Hong Kong. Like I mentioned previously, <laughs> I was so lucky. I actually won a competition to come here free of charge. We didn't have to pay for a flight with the Hong Kong Tourist Authority and the airport authorities were all the winners. Although once I'm here, I've paid for everything, obviously, it's like hotels, food, attractions, etc. Okay, I think that's it, walking around the grounds. Maybe we should go up there. Oh, actually, no, I... down here is the restaurant that I saw the characters in, so must be that way. So I think the restaurant's there. So the characters would be in there. So let's walk around, see if we can look through the window. swimming pools that are over in that direction just to see you get your bearings. Oh, this is how we themed as well, the restaurant. Going into there. Oh dear. Well, it's getting to the end of the night now. Or a past eight, so I wonder if they're still serving food and if they've still got the characters here. Okay, there's people still on the tables. Can't see any characters. There's some, somebody dressed up like a mustard bottle, but that's not one of the standard Disney characters, is it? No, I can't see Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, Donald, Daisy. Nah. Oh, I think I see somebody. Who's there? I think I see Pluto. There he is. And Pluto. Hmm. Try not to get any kids in there. Any more? No, that's the only. Oh, there's a bottle of ketchup walking around as well. Okay, so that's a. I know that, I think this is a restaurant that they do uh, character breakfast as well. Not sure of the price, I did look into it, but it just, I'd feel a bit weird doing a character breakfast by myself, a 40 odd year old man <laughs> in the Disney hotel and the character breakfast, so I'll leave. Well, this is embarrassing. The SD card run out, it's just that I was filming Pluto <laughs> in that restaurant. So I've just had to come back to the room to put a new SD card in there. Rather than going straight down there and continuing the walk from where it cut off, hopefully it did capture Pluto and it didn't delete that bit because there was no space. Anyway, I'm going to head back towards that direction, but I'm going to film from the room going down to outside. So back through the lobby, down the outside staircase, and I think that'll be it for the tour. Again, this is what the... Um, low light looks like indoors in the room it's a bit messy I put all my stuff on the bed i <laughs> got my macbook over there so we're going to head back down to where the battery got out but i'm going to be filming all the way down there and we'll do a tour in the different direction so 
let's get out of the room, shall we? Oh, one thing I need to do, get the card out of here. So you need to put that in just to make sure there's power in the room, but you probably know that. Nearly all hotels around the world have that now. So we've got some really long corridors. In fact, my room, that's basically as far as you can go just over by there. So I imagine they've got really nice room because they look directly out to the ocean. Mine's got a bit more of a sea, the side view of the ocean, even though it was classed as just a sea view, but it's not a complete sea view. But I get to see the maze and the reception building on the left, so it's not too bad. And you can see they've got air purifiers everywhere in these corridors, just purifying the air, which I think is a really good idea. More places should do that. Probably more places don't have the budget of Disney. So again, what do you think of this low light mode on the DJI Pocket 3 indoors? If I was filming this on the GoPro, it'd be shaky like anything. So even though the GoPro has got uh, inbuilt stabilization, electronic stabilization, when it comes to low light, it's really quite terrible. Absolutely terrible, which is why I never use my GoPro indoors if I can help it. So see what I mean by it's a bit of a long walk. Almost there. So there we go. So over there, that overlooks the lobby, so you see the atrium area with the chandeliers above us. So uh, if, if you don't mind me talking about cameras, I also have the DJI Pocket 2. I've had that for a good couple of years, and I think it's probably my favourite favorite vlogging camera. It's really good. I've taken it to Iceland, took it to um, everywhere I go for the last couple of years. Well, when I first came here and checked in in my room and came upstairs to go to my room, there was actually a band playing there, but um, didn't get to film it because I was just carrying all my bags. Shame they're not there now. Again, it's a lot quieter now than it was just when we came here a little while ago. So I believe the seventh floor, that floor up there, is all the kingdom level rooms so that's like a, a club room in regular hotels so you probably have your own lounge up there okay, so here's a good view down so the other side of those windows there is where the maze is just to give you a bit of an idea where we are then past that is obviously the sea so got a piano cello some drums. Right. Can you see how this window is to the front of the hotel? Mm, not really. So that's where, that way, that'd be where we drive in. So let's see how long the lift takes to collect this, shall we? Every time I've used this lift, it's taken ages. Uh, let's see how long it's held back. If we go to the side, oh, it's actually coming up straight away. God, hasn't done that in the three times I've been. Oh. Here we go. Okay, we're going to go to level three, which is the reception level on the hotel lobby. If you look at this, you can probably see. But we'll go down there, we'll have a look at all the pumpkins. As we're in Halloween season now, these pumpkins and Halloween paraphernalia everywhere. Here we go. Third floor. Let's go this way, shall we? To look at the pumpkins. Oh, let's go that way. I think I will get a photo of these as well. Oh, there's a Pluto one there. Uh, Mickey and Minnie. Oh, let's get a spot on these. Let's get a close up of the Pluto one, I think. Where are these ones over here? Okay, we've got Donald, Daisy. To be honest, I don't know who that one is. 
Yeah, I fought with these anyway. Treat him like must be Pluto, I guess, but it doesn't really look like Pluto. Okay. Let's go this way, shall we? I think, I think we'll go and walk down the steps in those directions. So, uh, yeah, so you see, that's the way we started our tour down there for the main entrance. So that's the restaurant where the character buffet is. Let's go out the entrance here. Oh no, that's not, that's a different restaurant again. I think I forgot we're on the third floor, not the first. Okay, I can see some cakes over there. Anyway, we're back outside. There's the maze. Again, just let me know what you think of this low light facility on the camera. I think I've said that about 10 times now. <laughs> so if you haven't done it already, you're not gonna do it now, are you? Okay, there's the rest of the hotel rooms over there. So we're going to walk that way outside the window of where we saw Pluto and the ketchup and the mustard bottle serving people. The place down there. Okay, I'm losing <laughs> my track of where I am. Uh, let's see if we can get there that way. So let's go around this way. Here we go. Down this path here. Oh, I think I just saw Mickey then. Might be able to catch him. So hopefully when I was walking this way, it really actually captured it all and it didn't corrupt it when it ran out of space. Otherwise, I'm not gonna start all the way back down there again. Okay. I'm hoping hoping you enjoy this little tour around Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel. I enjoy walking around, it's quite calming and peaceful actually. Quite relaxing after a <laughs> long, long, well, two days. <laughs> like I said earlier, oh, like I said earlier, oh, there he is. Let's have a look if we can see him. Oh, see him just by there. Don't want to film too much in case I get some kids in the shot, kind of be a bit weird. Uh, let's go this way, it might be a little bit clearer. Mm. There we go. There we go, wait for those people to go. Let me see, get a clear shot. There he is. There's the, the character that started everything for the, the Disney company. As Walt said. It all started, remember, it all started with a mouse. There we go. There they must have left Mickey. Let's keep walking. Getting quite hungry now, looking at that, but it's time for bed. I have mentioned as well, it's a shame they don't do any quick so. There's Minnie over there. Let's see if we can get a good view of her. This window here. Oh, she's going. She no, there she is. Oh, and Pluto again over there. We got Minnie there, and Pluto a little bit further behind her, over her left shoulder. There we are. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, it's a shame they don't do quick service. I'll, I'll get probably get something a little snack, but there's nothing here to get. <laughs> to get. I think we're going to be coming to the end of our walk. So, I might as well wrap it up now, actually. So I hope you enjoyed this walk around the Disneyland Hotel here in Hong Kong. Like I said, I enjoyed walking around it. <laughs> um, going to do all the standard YouTuber stuff now. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. <laughs> you know. 
But if you did, honestly though, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a little bit of a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And the comments as well, that also helps as well. The more people that comment and like, it helps promote this, this video and my channel to other people who might not be aware of it. If you're new here, maybe you just came here because I mentioned the camera name in the, in the subject heading because it's a brand new camera. But if you are new here, my name's Mark and I make travel and theme park videos from around the world. Normally I do it with my two kids, Matthew and Holly, but they're not on this trip for me, with me at the moment. They will be on another trip uh, <laughs> next year, uh, early next year to China. But if you're just interested in this, I've got loads of Disney content. I've been going to Disney parks since the 1980s, so I'm showing my age now. But yeah, I started going to Walt Disney World in Florida. 19, it was, I can't even remember, it's either 1988 or 1989. So we used to go there almost every year. In fact, I know it sounds terrible, but I've actually lost count how many times I've been to Walt Disney World in Florida. It must have been at least, it's definitely over 20 times, definitely over 20 times. And we usually go for three weeks as well in, a, in one shot. Because <laughs> if we're going to go out there, you might as well go out there for three weeks rather than two. So if you just search around my channel, you'll find loads of Disney content. I've been to all the other Disney parks as well. I recommend all of them apart from Disneyland Paris. Not a fan of Disneyland Paris at all. Had a terrible incident happen there last year where a cast member became really quite violent towards me and my children for no reason at all. If you're interested in that, just go searching through uh, <laughs> my other videos from Disneyland Paris. But apart from that, every other Disney park in the world, thoroughly recommend. Even though I haven't been to Hong Kong Disneyland yet on this trip, I'd been here before and loved it. It was a lot smaller when I came last time and they've actually changed the castle in the last few years as well. So it'll be the first time I get to see the new castle and also the Ant-Man ride, which is just Buzz Lightyear re-themed. The Iron Man ride, that wasn't here last time. And the Grizzly Gulch Minecarts as well, that wasn't here last time. So I've got some new rides to look forward to on this trip. So, like I said, if you've enjoyed this video again, thank you so much for watching. It's really appreciated. And um, I'll see you next time.